Whoa, hey there, little kitty. Why so quiet today? Yikes! Sounds like you might have tonsillitis. Ah, good question. Allow me to explain by answering what causes tonsillitis. Zoom in. Well, let's start with the stars of this whole drama. Your tonsils. These small squishy guards sit at the back of your throat, one on each side. And even though they look like they don't do too much, they're actually part of your body's frontline defense team. Yes, think of them as tiny bouncers at the club entrance to your lungs and stomach. When unwanted party crashers like viruses and bacteria try to sneak in through your mouth or nose, your tonsils are the first to step up and say, Not today! But some invaders are stubborn. When they manage to slip inside the tonsils, the immune cells stationed there detect them and send out distress signals to the rest of the body. We've got a problem! Send back up now! In response, the blood vessels around the tonsils expand and become leakier, letting a flood of immune cells like macrophages, B cells and T cells pile in to take down the enemies. With all that action happening inside, your tonsils start to swell up like balloons. That swelling caused by inflammation is what we call tonsillitis. That puffed up tissue presses on nearby nerves, which is why your throat feels like sandpaper every time you swallow. Oh, and if you see white or yellow patches on your tonsils, that's probably pus, a battlefield of dead cells and bacteria left behind after your immune system's heroic act. I know what you are thinking. I have tonsillitis. Now what? Well, treatment depends on what's causing it. Even though viral and bacterial tonsillitis can feel the same, they need different approaches. If it's bacterial, your doctor might prescribe antibiotics and it's super important to take the full course, even if you start feeling better. If it's viral though, antibiotics won't help. Your body just needs time to fight it off. Rest, fluids and over-the-counter painkillers can help ease the pain while you recover. In rare cases, when tonsillitis keeps coming back or becomes chronic, your doctor might suggest a tonsillectomy. That's surgery to remove your tonsils for good. Luckily, in most cases, tonsillitis goes away on its own with some simple home remedies like gargling with lukewarm salt water or sipping warm fluids like herbal tea or soap. And depending on what feels good for your body, soft, cool treats like yogurt, smoothies or even a little ice cream can help calm that scratchy, irritated feeling. But the best thing you can do is try not to get tonsillitis in the first place. And that all comes down to solid hygiene habits. Wash your hands regularly, especially before eating and after using the bathroom. Avoid sharing food, drinks or anything that touches your mouth. And if you need to cough or sneeze, aim for your elbow or a tissue. 
No one wants a face full of flying germs. Remember, your tonsils are hard-working little guards. But even they need a bit of help from you to stay on top of the bad guys. Trivia time! Did you know there are actually four kinds of tonsils? Yes, apart from the palatine tonsils at the back of your throat. There are the lingual tonsils at the base of the tongue and the tubal tonsils and the adenoids. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Rishi. Hope you learned something relieving today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.